What's going on guys? Alex with 814 ADC and today I'm ready to do my full, not a, not a full review, more so of an overview of the Sparrow Knife Co. Strix prototype. Uh, so I've only had this in for three or four days um, and that was kind of the, um, you know, caveat of getting it in. You had to, you know, only have it for a couple days and get it shipped out to the next person. Um, so I'm just trying to get this moved along to uh, the next person on the list. Uh, so I'm gonna consider it more of an overview, but I'm still gonna do it in my full review, you know, sort of way. Um, but yeah, guys, this is my, or not my, but well, my first really rendition of a uh, Sparrow Knife Co. knife. I believe this is his first production model. Um, he is a custom knife maker that is dipping his toes into a production knife and I believe this is one of his more popular custom models um, that's why I believe he went with the Strix and it's really cool guys I really do like it um, so this was a oh, I can't almost dropped it but uh, this was a pre-order knife um, so according to the website it has already passed which I, I knew that uh, it was back from November 20th to the 25th so you guys cannot currently go out and buy these but I will leave a link to his uh, website down below, uh, website and possibly Instagram page. Um, I'm sure he will probably get, um, well, it says on here, there will only be a few extra for warranty parts and to sell at show. So I don't know how many extras he bought. Um, so I do apologize if you guys are seeing this now and it's something you wanted to get. You might not be able to get your hands on it, but definitely go check out the website and check out the Instagram page. Might be, you know, he'll give you guys updates and some news on here. Um, but there were four different variations. So the first one, V1, is this carbon fiber one that I have. Kind of like a car uh, marbled carbon. Titanium bolster. You have the front flipper. The, all the designs are the same. So you have this harpoon sort of um, worn cliff sheep's foot style blade, which is really cool. You have the Sparrow Knife Co. logo right there. Um, frame lock on this side, all titanium, titanium milled clip, um, lanyard post or tube, the backspacer. So the V1 is the carbon fiber. Uh, it got, went for $345. V2 is green micarta, $345. V3 was full titanium. It actually went down to $336, which is intriguing. And V4, which was Damasteel, which is, he asked $680 for it. Um, I believe these are all made by Beztech. I'm not totally 100% sure, but I thought that's what Kevin said. Uh, left EDC, he had this first. Uh, 3.4 inch blade, weight 4.5 to 4.7 ounces. Um, so the Strix is named from the mythological owl that feeds on human flesh. Um, which is interesting. Multi-deployment worn cliff style with an aggressive harpoon and perfect ergonomics when held in many positions, which it is very ergonomic. Um, all the blade steels on the four different versions, you know, pending the damage steel version, of course, uh, all M390. Um, with the this one being stone washed and the version two and version threes being satin. So I think that's kind of all the background I wanted to give you guys. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm pretty new uh, to Sparrow Knife Co. I've seen him on Instagram before, um, but once this model started getting tossed around as an upcoming pre-order, I was kind of intrigued by it. Um, and then when Kevin got his in and um, I can't remember what the guy's name is, but when he told Kevin he could pass it around to some different reviewers, I was like, oh, I'd love to check it out because it's, it's an intriguing model. Got my spite, spite, my sprite, um, spiced cranberry. I love when sprite comes out with that around the winter time or around the Christmas time. It's really, really tasty. Um, but yeah, so I got this in from Kev to check out, and I, I have enjoyed it, guys. I, I kind of tossed around the idea of getting a pre order spot, but I just wasn't sure. Uh, and there was some other stuff that I wanted to chase. You guys know how it is in the knife world, uh, there's always something that you want a little bit more than something. Um, so I held off on it, but I was impressed. I, I do think this is a really good knife. Um, so hopefully my overview can kind of, you know, give you guys a good idea of how I feel about it. But, you know, without further ado, we're going to jump into my review process. So I already kind of went over materials, but 
go over it again. Uh, you have an M390 stone wash blade here. They all have um, hollow grinds. It's not the thinnest hollow, but it definitely has a lot of, you know, a decent amount of belly. So it comes down to a pretty thin edge. Very good for cutting. You have the harpoon, Warncliffe style, hole for opening. Um, the marbled carbon fiber back here that looks really, really good. Titanium bolster. Um, titanium backspacer with a lanyard hole. Of course, you have the frame lock side over here, full titanium. You have relief cuts. Uh, you have a milled titanium pot clip. Really, really good. And I like that the stone wash has a little bit of reflection to it. That's cool. Uh, I like how they did that. But uh, I believe it's on bearings. There is no one Well, I take that back. So on the um, lock bar side, there is some, looks like two pockets of internal milling. But on the show scale side, because they milled out the titanium to put the carbon fiber in there, I'm assuming that would act as a milling pocket um, because, you know, there's it's already thin enough in the back here. There's not a whole lot of area to... Um, you know, take pockets from. Uh, and then, of course, you have the relief cuts back here for the pressure. Um, but I believe that's all for materials. So we're going to jump into action next. Uh, and this thing is very snappy. It has a very solid detent, very snappy, sucks in there very well. Um, the thumb flick works very well. Middle finger flick works awesome. Has a, a pretty satisfying thwack when you fire it out of there. Sounds good, feels good, and thumb flick. Doesn't have the, you know, the same sound as the middle finger flick. I don't know if it's because you have more, like, fingers on knife to kind of dampen the sound. Um, that's the only reason I can think of. But very snappy. For close, it drops to your nail. It's very smooth. Um, or you can just drop it to your nail. Bang it close. You have a very generous front flipper tab up here that has jimping going the whole way up so that looks really good functions very very well all you gotta do is just kind of rotate your finger over as if you're doing like a zippo um, or a lighter and it bangs right out of there i really like how uh, this functions very very reliable like i don't think you're going to be um missing you know misfiring or anything like that uh, and even for lefties if you get low enough on the clip I didn't do it very well. Try number two. If you get low enough on the clip, try number three. There we go. Um, third time to charm, but it'll bang right out. So I believe it's on bearings. Yeah, I'm 95% sure it's on bearings. That You know, most knives nowadays are on bearings. Washers aren't really used that much anymore. Um, so I don't know if you had maybe some skiffs tossed in there. It might make it even more drop shetty. Um, I'll, you know, a lot of people tend to do that with their knives. Like Kevin tosses skiffs in pretty much every knife he owns. Um, but yeah, I just realized there is some kind of like micro milling on the pot clip. I don't know if you guys are going to pick that up or not, but it looks really, really cool. Try to catch the light the right way, but it's hard to do. So yeah, action, middle finger flick, money, thumb flick, money. Um, you can slow roll it out, but you know, who does that with a knife like this? And if you do that, your finger might get caught on the tab up here. So um, I would just stick to middle finger flicking, thumb flicking, and front flipping. So 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Next up is Ergos. And like the maker said on here, how ergonomically friendly it is, I have to agree. So it's a pretty interesting looking, you know, um, handle design. So up here, it's pretty much flat back. You do have a little bit of curvature back, you know, as you're going the whole way back. Uh, but it's pretty much straight. Here you have a very forward or a very generous forward finger choil that functions very, very well. You have another indent in here for kind of your middle finger when you're choked up. And then it, it gets a little bit fatter and then it tapers off towards the end. So it's a very interesting handle shape. Um, without choking up, I can still get four fingers on here. It feels very, very good. I feel like I'm locked in. Uh, there is some technically some jimping, but that is just the jimping from the front flipper. Um, and it's not uber aggressive. So you know, unless you're choked back here, you can kind of land on it and use it, but it's not really catching my fingers that much to be uh, to where the point, you know, of where it's sucking my hand in. Um, but my preferred position is you choke up here, you land right in this poon area, kind of the poon spoon, as Kevin likes to call it. Um, gives you a little bit of a ramp. And then you have that choil. So your um, pointer finger goes here, 
middle finger goes here and the rest just kind of fall in there. And this is very, very comfortable. Uh, I feel very locked in. You know, if you're gonna be doing something precise, you wanna make sure um, you're, you're cutting around something or you wanna make sure you're cutting what you're supposed to be cutting. Um, this is gonna be, you know, very well adapted doing that. Of course, you have that worn cliff, so it's gonna have, you know, a quick just drop down. You don't have to like pull your hand the whole way up to drop it down. You just bang it down into a package, open it up, you know, open up boxes, um, cut through some cardboard, um, do some gas station knife fights at Kevin at 7-Eleven. Um, you can pinch grip it here. If you're gonna be ripping into it, I tend to do a lot of pinch grips with my knives. Um, you know, reverse hammer grip, I think is what this is called. Um, very comfortable. And if you're gonna be doing some push cuts, this is also, you know, normal hammer grip, very comfortable. So uh, the pot clip is a milled clip. So it's gonna be, you know, pretty ergonomically friendly. A lot of milled clips don't tend to stick out very far from the knife. They're pretty flush uh, and it feels very good in the hand. You can feel it a little bit back here, but then when you choke up, you kind of work your way off of it. Um, you know, you still have some of it in your palm, but uh, overall it's it's very comfortable. Um, it's definitely not a worry in the hotspot department. So um, overall ergonomics are really, really good on this knife, guys. That leads me to um, carryability. And the knife, I didn't know that it would, you know, as heavy it is, as heavy as it is, um, I never would have guessed 4.5 to 4.7 ounces. Um, but now that I have that number on my head, it definitely feels like that. Um, I don't know if there'd be any way to put maybe a little bit more internal milling going on. Um, but like I said, with the scale over here, it's probably hard to. Uh, and then on the frame lock side, you can only do so much milling. So it, it definitely feels like that 4.5 to 4.7 ounces, but I don't think it's heavy. Um, I think for, for the knife, it's kind of a bigger, you know, bigger, bulkier kind of like, I don't know, just, I'm not, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but uh, it feels just like a, a good size for this knife. Like when I pick this knife up and I flick it and I feel it and it feels, you know, it's comfortable in hand, but it's kind of chunky at the same time. It's kind of, um, like I said, kind of bigger, kind of bulkier, um, kind of like a brute almost in my opinion. And that's, I'm not saying that in a bad way. Uh, that's just kind of how I, my mind, you know, um, generalizes this knife but it carries well. You drop it in your pocket. Of course, you're not gonna have a super deep carry because you don't have a deep carry clip, but you have about this much sticking up out of your pocket. So, um, you know, it, it does decently well and that gives you a little bit of leverage when you're pulling it up out of your pocket. Um, I carried it only in my front right pocket in my jeans because that's what I'm wearing nowadays since it's December here in Pennsylvania. Uh, I did have it in my gym shorts one evening when we ate dinner. Um, and I was around the house doing some different things. I tossed it just in my pocket and I really, you know, for it being a decently heavy knife, I didn't have any qualms, but granted I wasn't out and about, you know, doing a whole lot of different things. I was kind of just lounging around the house and um, different things like that. But, uh, you know, it, it carries well. Like I, I doesn't carry, is it the best carrying knife I've ever handled before? No, but I don't expect it to be. Um, I think the pot clip looks really good. So I don't, you know, I think it, uh, uh matches the aesthetic of the knife very well. And I don't, you know, I wouldn't expect a, maybe a wire clip would look pretty cool on this, but uh, overall, I think it works well. I think it carries well. Could it be a smidgen lighter? Sure. Um, but again, I think for the knife, it matches, you know, it all goes well together. So um, I really don't have any complaints for the carryability of this knife, but uh, now it leads us to my final category of price point and what I recommend this knife. I would recommend this knife, guys. I think it's a really cool piece. I think it's, it's different. Um, but having, you know, it has some, some really good qualities to it and I think it's different and it's out there. Um, and it's, it's its own sort of design, in my opinion, that a lot of people are going to, I think, go for this knife. And I, hopefully a lot of people did in the pre-order. Um, you know, when I first saw it, I wasn't like super blown away by the design, but then I looked at it. I saw different people reviewing it. Um, it popped up on Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, and it definitely grew on me. Um, but the action's good. You know, you do have a pretty silky smooth drop. Probably just cut myself because I nicked my cuticle. But, um, you know, it's fun to fidget with. It's fun to flick and flip and, you know, slow roll even if you're into that. But uh, it's made well. Like I said, I think it's made by Best Tech. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm, I'm pretty positive that's what I heard. And Best Tech killed it. You know, fit and finish, um, action, tolerances, all that. It has no blade play. It's locked up you know, tighter than a bank vault. Um, 
you know, so overall, it's just, I was pretty impressed by this knife. Um, and like I said earlier, I believe this is Sparrow Knife Co.'s production run at a, um, a custom favorite that he makes that people love. Uh, so maybe in the future, if I, you know, have the itch to get a custom knife, which I, I want a custom knife at some point in my collecting. Uh, I'm not there yet right now because there's a lot of mid-production, uh, mid-tier level knives, you know, three, four, five hundred dollar knives that I haven't experienced yet. But at some point, I'm going to want a a custom. Uh, and I definitely will have this on my mind because I think this is a great design. Super, super comfortable. Um, any way you hold it, really. Great steel. Now, this is a production model, uh, but you have a nice thin hollow grind. Um, comes down to a nice thin edge. A very interesting but usable and sort of menacing looking blade shape with the harpoon and the Warncliffe. Um, you have the logo right there. M390, titanium, um, marble carbon fiber. All in all, just a really good package. And I think it's worth, what did I say it was? Um, this specific version was $345. I think that's worth it. Um, you know, pre-orders tend to be a little bit more money, especially because this is his first one. Um, so he kind of has to make a little bit of money, which I get it. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, I think it's worth it. I do. I, I don't think. I'm actually kind of intrigued why the the full titanium is a little bit cheaper. Because to me, that like a full titanium knife is always a little bit more expensive than the micarta, than the carbon fiber. Um, and the full titanium is cool because it has some like relief cuts or speed holes going through here. So that looks really good. Uh, the green micarta one looks really good too. I would stay away from the damas steel. I just, I'm not a big fan of damas steel. I think it's ugly. Um, I don't get the whole jive behind it, but uh, the damas steel one came with the, uh, the full titanium with speed holes, but it's like a blackened tie. So it looks really good. Um, but yeah, I definitely, I think, you know, 345, 336 is worth it. Uh, if you're into damas steel, 680 might be a good price, but I'm not totally sure. Uh, like I said, I'm not into damas steel. So, um, but yeah. Really cool knife. I am glad to have got to check it out, and I think it's a really cool product. Hopefully, he does more runs in the future, um, because definitely now that I've experienced it and I, you know, I like the product, uh, I would definitely consider picking one up a little bit harder than I did for this past run. But um, guys, don't forget, I am leaving the website to Sparrow Knife Co. down below. Please go check him out. Um, you can see all the models on on. You can see all the models on here and everything like that. Um, you just can't buy anything because the pre order is over. But definitely go check him out. I'll also leave his Instagram link down below if I can remember to do that. But um, yeah, so this was my full review on the Sparrow Knife Co. Strix prototype. Definitely a really, really cool model that, like I said, I was really excited to check out, uh, you know, and get the get the handle for a little bit for a few days. So um, I'm going to wrap this guys up. I'm going to wrap this guy. I'm going to wrap this up, guys, um, for reasons like that. But I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate you guys, you know, so much. You guys really... Um, you know, mean the world to me. The channel is slowly growing, creeping towards a thousand subs. So hopefully we get there at some point in time. I plan on doing a pretty good giveaway, but, um, as always, I can't talk today, guys. I'm sorry, but as always, please go check out the link in my description down below, um, to Blue Creek Knives. And if you guys want to make a purchase, use code 814EDC. It helps me, helps you, it helps Brian. It's a win, win, win. Like I, like I always like to say, I just can't talk today, guys. So, uh, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. I'm going to wrap this up, guys, but thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Talk to you guys later. Peace.